guys, I have not driven the VRZ in like, I wanna say two weeks. Definitely gotta change that today. We're finally in the VRZ. It's always nice driving this thing. Honestly, one of my favorite cars. Something about it, even with all the camera on it, it literally drives like stock. We're actually gonna be doing uh, something a little bit different than car stuff today. Valentine's Day is coming up. I'm super bad with freaking doing stuff on time. I'm always late, it's such a bad trait of mine. So we're gonna do some gift shopping today. I've done some shopping, you know, I did buy a few things online, but I don't know what it is. I guess freaking baskets are like the thing now, so I'm gonna try to put something together because she's been hinting at it. We gotta deliver on Valentine's Day, so that's what we're gonna try to do today. Oh, we had to take the beer and leave. I miss this car. Hey, she get? We got some fire right here. Bro. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Oh, one of them is basic, but but keep this right here. Nah, it goes with like every fit though, like the brown. Classic black. Can't, can't go, go bro, wrong. Bro, I wear mine like every day. Exactly. <laughs> the can't, black can't one. This one's fire. I think this is my favorite. This nice little brown. Yeah. This is tough. Nah, they go with like tough. everyday fits. They're yeah, like perfect. Like, you yeah. know we gotta rock the SD, bro. We gotta we gotta represent out here. Yeah. You hear that? No LA hats. Bro, you will never, you never catch it. I promise you. I will never buy it. Back at the gas station. I'm gonna try to show you guys on camera right now, but my car is low key, I think broken. <laughs> Cause I'll show you right now. It actually leaks when I'm pumping gas so bad. I honestly should not even be driving this car right now. And also when I put the, the nozzle in, it won't stay pumping. Like it just automatically disengages. It's <laughs> so bad. I should not be driving this. And you can smell it too. Like what happened? I think my filler neck is uh, like I rubbed through it, like it's broken because I leak gas. Huh. See, look, it stops every time I try to pump. <laughs> it's probably leaking right now. I just can't see it. So oh shoot! <laughs> <Is> it <leaking>? <laughs> <laughs> look right here. Yeah, I definitely there's definitely a hole in the filler too. I think I my wheel rubbed it or I rubbed. I don't know what it was. Maybe I was riding too low one day. Straight leaking gas now. <laughs> I shouldn't even be driving it. That's also another reason why I have not been driving this car. It's because of that reason. Like, I'm literally leaking gas all the time. Bro, I'm about to wear one right now? <laughs> Egghead. I'm almost at that age where it's like, a comb over don't look good on us no more and shit like that, you know? We're getting too old for it? Yeah. Man. You're still a baby, bro. You're like, what? 23? 23, bro. Just I'm 26. I feel like I'm getting old. Man. I know, I'm just 23. 26. 26. But like, I don't know. I just feel like certain styles no more, bro. It's kind of like... Nah, you're still hella young. We're still young, I guess. Bro, I feel like once you reach like, though, bro. Time yeah, time is fine, bro. Bro, I was like thinking about it the other day. Like, I started this channel when I was like, uh, you know, like 20, 19 or 20. Yeah, now I'm 26, guys. I'm almost 30, guys. That's, uh, that's, that's so crazy man. to think about, bro. That's so crazy. <laughs> Ew. Should not be driving this car, honestly, but we definitely have to fix that gas thing issue before we get into the new phase. Now I haven't even told. I haven't told anybody yet. I'm gonna beep this out. I'm gonna beep it out on video, but Look, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, wait. Yeah, so we definitely gotta fix that gas thing before we do the That's insane. The new addition to this car. I don't know, these are expensive, but I wanna M4 so bad. Potentially. What's up, bro? <laughs> How you doing? I'm actually filming right now. Oh yeah? <laughs> you want to be in the video? Oh yeah. What's up bro? We got some oh, yeah. subscribers. <laughs> this is like our third mall we've been to. We're supposed to be shopping for our girls, but we're gonna end up shopping, shopping for ourselves. Shopping for ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I'll say the main reason why we go to this mall is because of hats. Because of hats, yeah. This super sick like hat store that we always go to. This is why I love this mall. Let's go snowboarding. Let's go snowboarding. Got us at Bath and Body Works. What you getting? Some essentials? 
These actually smell really good. These actually smell good. No, they do. You ever do like candles in your room? They'll get vibe. I'm doing a little basket for her, so I've been grabbing like a whole I bunch know of. I we could do. I'm gonna ask for a basket and we walk out with these baskets. <laughs> I think she'll like these ones. She loves like fruit scented stuff. Two hours later. All right, well we're back at home. Uh, <laughs> did a bad job at filming at the mall, but I know I was supposed to shop for my girl, but <laughs> you already know. Had to get something for myself while we're there. Sheesh. I don't even have a red one. I don't think I have a red hat yet, but had to pick up the red SD fitted. No patches or anything, just a plain red. Simple, I've always wanted a red one. I feel like I don't wear a lot of red. So I think this will kind of push me to. I'll add this to my collection. I know this is like super dark. I wish I had more lights, but these are kind of like a fraction of my hats. All right, I switched to my better lens. I use this one for nighttime. It's like super freaking clear, especially in low light. But yeah, anyways, back to my hat collection. I feel like I never wear this one. Obviously, I'm from San Diego, so like I wear majority of San Diego hats, but uh, it's a clean one. I never really wear this one because I don't have stuff that really matches with it. And Henri actually bought me this. Henri is the one with the Civic, my first ever piece of Supreme. Never had Supreme, but he actually got me this for Christmas. Shout out to him. Nice little like olive green, kind of like the, the FRS color. Got the Jesus piece on the side. Such a sick hat. I actually wear this one a lot off camera. This one, I feel like I don't wear that much. It's like a, if you can see, it's like a corduroy with the gold SD. This one's pretty sick. Honestly, I just don't like the way this one fits. Um, <laughs> I love the style of this one, but if you guys wear fitted hats, then you know, like, some, like, they could be the same size, like, your size. I don't know, fitted hats always fit differently. It's kind of annoying at times, but, yeah, I really like this one, but unfortunately, I don't really like the way it fits. Oh, yeah, speaking of a red one, this kind of goes with the topic we were just talking about. I don't wear this one because I don't like the fit. <laughs> this literally looks like freaking Mario and Luigi's hat. Like, you know how their, like, hats are, like, freaking puffy on the top? This hat literally looks like it when I wear it. Pretty much why I don't wear it. <laughs> this one's actually a pretty new one. Got this one for Christmas. I actually wear this one quite a bit. This actually goes with a lot of outfits, especially with the black. It's super nice. This one's like a like a retro Padres hat. Mr. Padre on it. I like this one. I mean, you can never go wrong with a black hat. It goes with like anything. Yeah, I wear that one a lot. These are like my snapbacks. I wear this one a lot. This is one of my favorite snapbacks, like a five panel. My homie Luis actually makes these. He has a brand called Faith by Luis. I love like the message behind it and everything, so this is one of my favorite ones. Man, I'm really about to go through all my hats. <laughs> this one, I don't really wear, honestly, I don't really wear a lot of snapbacks anymore. A lot of these just sit and collect dust. I used to wear this one a lot, it's just like a normal black one. This one, I used to wear a lot, not anymore. It's like a blue, it's kinda like old and faded now. Uh, this is actually the one that's in my profile pic, if you can see. Yeah, this one's cool. It's kind of like an upside down SD logo. These are ones that like, I definitely don't wear anymore. These are like old 47 adjustable ones. I used to be into this style, kind of like dad hats, but this is like years ago. <laughs> I really don't wear hats like this, so these are like really old. This is sick too. Filipino hat. Yes, I am half Filipino. So I don't know. I kind of bought this one and I just I think I only wore it like once. <laughs> I don't know. Like I said, I kind of just grew out of snapbacks. So I don't know. This is a nice piece though. Oh, this one's sick. I forgot about this one. This is actually cool because it's like a Valentine's Day theme. Uh, another snapback. Got the heart. This one's actually pretty sick. Got the heart on the side and on the brim. Cool piece, but like I said, I don't have enough red stuff, so I really barely wear these. Sometimes I just buy these hats just because they look sick, but then I just don't end up wearing them. I don't know what it is. I just have this huge thing with hats. My girl actually got me this from Kill the Hype. Uh, it's just a brown snapback with the SD logo upside down. Super sick. I have not had the chance to wear this one. This one should be at the bottom over here because it's a fitted. It's literally just, you know, like a official, you know, Padres hat that they wear on the field. Nothing crazy, no patches. Another snapback, brown one. I have a lot of brown hats, I just noticed. Another hat from my homie Luis. As you can see, it says, keep the faith. Such a sick hat. I don't wear this one either. I feel like I'm a broken record. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I literally only wear like three hats constantly in rotation out of all of these. Dude, I keep forgetting that I have certain hats. <laughs> This is also from another San Diego local company. It's D in a different font. If you look, if you look closely, but there's like little logos. It's kind of like Louis V, but their own SD logo. Kind of sick. Kind of like a trucker hat, snapback vibe. It's a nice one. Retro colors. The Padres hat. I love this colorway. Like if you guys are Padres fans, the old blue and the orange. My favorite colorway. Same colorway, but just a different hat. 
one of my favorites. I love the orange with the blue and the white. A lot of you guys don't even know, but I actually dropped my own snapbacks. <laughs> Reason I don't wear mine is because, like I said, I just don't wear snapbacks anymore. <laughs> I'm like, last year we dropped these. I forgot what I dropped these with. Yeah, I think these are actually on the site. So we got like Border Supply, um, established in 2020 when I started the brand. Got the embroidered puff. Super sick, wish I wore this one more. Literally never wear this one. I more so got this just for decoration. Just like last video, I was talking about California burritos. You guys, we're known for Mexican food down here. Uh, we got Junior Seau, like an old Chargers player. Got the gas lamp, Downtown SD, Tony Gwynn. So a whole bunch of sick patches. We got Coronado Bridge in the background. I just got this because it looks cool. I never wear it. If you guys thought that was it, I literally got more over here. <laughs> I forgot I had this one too. Kind of like the Chargers theme. Sad when they used to be in San Diego. <laughs> now they're in LA. Can't forget this one. I feel like this one's probably my favorite. Like the green. I just love green. As you guys can see, I always do freaking green in my own merch drops. This color green is like by far my favorite. But yeah, that was just kind of a, a random uh, tour of my hat collection. I'm not a big shoe person, but these are all the shoes that I have. I literally wear these like every day. I just love Converse. I just gotta throw these away. These are just embarrassingly disgusting but yeah i don't do shoes that much but i've been wearing these a lot blazers like i love jordans and shoes but i'm always just like working on the cars or like doing casual things so i feel like i'm too scared to get them like dirty these ones i got these recently low-key kind of uncomfortable i don't know what something about them but like these puffed up bands kind of uncomfortable but i really like the way they look some adidas this is so weird i feel like i'm like so used to filming like car stuff but Showing you my closet, it's kind of weird. These are actually really comfortable. New Balances, these are a vibe. I sometimes wear these. Got the ones, classic, you know, red and black, white. It's actually my first pair of Jordans, super comfortable. I actually got these dirty, like the first day I wore them, I was so pissed. It's kind of like a stain right there, but these are fire. They go with a lot of things. And those are old bands that you guys don't need to see. Definitely gotta clean these, but I love these bands. These go with anything, they look like Dunks. A lot of people mistaking these for dunks. I had to cop this. I saw this at PacSun. PacSun be having some good stuff, not gonna lie. Fire! I'm probably gonna wear this tonight. Nice little jacket, zip up. Ooh, with the hat. previous clips you guys got to see uh drunk chris for the first time i think on camera that was super fun we went out with danny and the girls we're probably gonna wash this thing because i have yet to wash this car ever since arizona now we went to arizona i want to say like three weeks ago almost a month ago i think i forget but yeah this is unacceptable oh my gosh bro Okay, this is so random, but this video is everywhere at this point. Like, I've been wanting to freaking wash my car for like three days straight. Dude, the craziest thing just happened right now. Like, okay, as you can tell, my eye is just completely messed up. I don't even know. Like, everything just happened in like a second. Sorry, I'm gonna have to have my eyes closed because like, it hurts so bad right now. I was just filling up the 
bucket and I don't even know what happened like just a second like boom just like that like the freaking hose or the gun like exploded something popped and then it hit my eye I think it was a hose like because you know like the metal like the the hose has the metal fitting as the quick connect to like connect to the gun I think that quick connect fitting was loose on the hose and it just popped and the hose just smacked directly into my eye like the, my right eye and I couldn't see I literally could not see like I still can't really see out of my right eye before it was just weird there was like a black line and I couldn't see like the top half I don't know it's hard to explain oh, dude, I'm for sure gonna get a bruise oh my gosh it was worse when it happened but Dude, I'm literally gonna get a black eye. My eye is so messed up right now. Dude, I, I literally got smacked by the freaking hose. After everything happened, I went to go look at the hose. I thought the hose like burst open or something. It's the hose and then you screw on the quick connect thing. Way, that way you can plug the gun into the quick connect thing. But the little metal piece that you screw into the hose was loose apparently. That just popped off from all the pressure in the hose and that hit literally directly on my eyeball like i was i'm still scared right now because like i hope i didn't damage my eye i'm gonna try to still do it but i was supposed to pick the frs up today it's still up at delicious tuning because i think i saw the previous video we did the dino tune but i literally almost passed out like i started to get so lightheaded and like i don't, I don't even know what was going on but um <laughs> yeah lesson for today um double check fittings and stuff on high pressure hoses or air water whatever it is double check those fittings a couple hours have passed i was gonna end the video off right there but i was like nah like i gotta continue filming today's video i'm actually picking up the frs right now from delicious tuning little update on my eye it's doing way better i'm still a little bit swollen now i can finally like keep my eyes open without it burning um but yeah it's just a little bit swollen my vision is still kind of like blurry i don't know there's just this like weird like line of blur <laughs> coming out of my right eye i actually have to pick up a fat bouquet of flowers for valentine's day quick errands before this day ends with a bad eye <laughs> Since we're back on uh, Delicious Tuning, look, we got the crackle level. Can I do it? Hold on. Oh, there. And I'll crackle level all the way, bro. But to blow your ears right, out. Yeah, That's right, so you can control it from the app. Delicious Tuning. Let's check it out. You ready? Let's see what it does. <laughs> He's gonna be driving the beer Z. How <laughs> the pops? Bro, they're it's crazy. They're loud, you can bro. literally feel it in the seat, bro. Like, I was just like popping the whole way here, and you can like feel it in the seat. It's crazy. Huge flames. Bro. Really? Yeah, they were huge. I got them on my phone. <laughs> oh my! That that would hurt you, huh? Yeah, dude, that that was, was like right next to your window. <laughs> Ooh, those are pretty big. That was sick. Anyways, you picked up those flowers I was talking about. Damn, bro. It's as big as a seat. <laughs> Check it out. Valentine's Day. That's a lot of energy, bro. That takes up the whole seat. Anyways, we're gonna fill this thing up with gas. It's so weird. I don't know why this car leaks gas when I'm pumping gas. Usually it like stops. You know when you're trying to pump it and it stops? Yeah, like it stops by itself. Oh, there it is. Yeah, see? See? I don't know why it does that, bro. Dude, look. It's leaking right now. What the? Hey, is there a hole in your gas tank? <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to air it up right now. You can see it, right? Yeah, right there. What is that? <laughs> I have no clue, to be honest. It's coming from there or the bigger tube? Nah, it's the smaller one. See, look. I can, I'm seeing it leak right now. You can see it, really? Yeah. Time to head back home. Well, at least now we kind of figured out where the leak is coming from. It's coming from that little, like, that mini... I don't even know what that is. It looks like a filter of some sort. Like, I don't know. But, obviously, it's coming out of there. I'll look more into it once I get home. The good thing is we found where the leak is coming from. <laughs> Thank you.
All right, guys, I just finished up editing today's video. Honestly, today's video is pretty fun. Um, a lot of it was kind of like lifestyle stuff, kind of like a recap of my week. I don't know what it is, guys, but lately I've just been so unmotivated to just get on the computer and edit a video or even filming, to be honest, super, super out of it. But tonight I just had to like force myself um, and that's just how it is guys like honestly there's a lot of time there's a lot of times where I'm like not motivated it sucks too because like once I like get in the zone that I'm like that I'm like focused you know what I mean I'm, I don't know there's just times where I just am not feeling motivated I feel like I've been slacking I've been only posting like once a week I haven't even posted on Instagram in a while and it's just like oh my gosh low-key sort of a rut but I'm um, super glad that I finished up today's video and got everything finally edited up <sighs> little update on my eye so this is the eye that got all messed up um, so it actually looks pretty normal now um, it's still a tiny bit red mainly probably because I have like allergies today but my vision is kind of weird like during the day it's like pretty much perfectly fine but at night when it's like in super low light I still see this like kind of like dark spot like there's just something like on your eye and you just want to like scratch it off or take it off but yeah i'm probably gonna get it checked out soon to be honest just you know just to be safe but um yeah that was freaking crazy i still can't believe that happened but yeah i just posted on my story the new merch shop that's coming soon guys so we got the sti version this time um you know as you guys saw we did the skateboard decks and the shirts of the frs but this time around we are doing the sti and it's gonna be with the new wheels so that's why i kind of just like covered it on instagram so you guys can't see the wheels but here is pretty much the design guys it's actually underway right now this is literally your guys's second chance because like i said these boards literally sold out in less than a minute it, insane like 30 seconds i refreshed the page and they were all sold out within a minute of dropping it if you guys missed out this is your reminder right here to stay tuned throughout the weeks I'm aiming to drop these March 1st. That's the goal. That's the goal. But if you guys want to stay updated, be sure to follow my Instagrams because I do post a lot of updates just like this. Um, and kind of like sneak peeks too behind the scenes. So if you guys don't want to miss out, be sure to stay tuned. My printer just ordered all the skateboards and all the ink for the t-shirts. So as we speak right now, they are literally in process and in the works. So I'm super excited for that. Just wanted to remind you guys before we end off today's video. This is, like I said, this is a fun one. It was more kind of like a, what I do behind the scenes of YouTube, you know, just hanging out with friends and whatnot. And yeah, it was a good variety in today's video. Appreciate you guys for tuning in. If you guys are still up until this point, I think we're at what, like 20-ish minutes? Y'all are real ones. You guys are freaking awesome. I see all your guys' comments, so honestly, thank you so much for all the support you guys show me. Thank you guys for spending 20 plus minutes with me today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go. With that being said, I hope you all have a good one today. Make it a good one, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.